Offline. Today we have the top three most played games of December, the last games we got in for the end of the year. So we're going to get right into this list. Before we do, we're going to talk about our sponsor, StoneValleyGames.com. This is a fantastic, friendly, distant game store. All kinds of great stuff over there. There might be even some of the games in this list there. Check the link in the description below and see what they've got to offer. Stone Valley Games is a fantastic game store run by Eric and Wendy. They have all kinds of cool little programs going on. They have a loyalty program for return customers. If you order $100 or more from them, they will ship to you for free if you're in the continental United States. And if you are currently serving in the US military and you're stationed overseas with an AA, AE, or AP address, they'll ship to you for free as well so go check out stonevalleygames.com again there's a link in the description below okay now we got 28 plays of 11 different games for around 38 hours of play time during the month of december so we're going to break that all down into our top three and that's going to start right now all right so number four was ice cool with four plays this was a gift for my littlest one he uh, got this wasn't sure what he was going to think about it, but once we got it set up, started playing, it's been a real big hit. And so we got four plays. Like I said, got it for Christmas. So, and actually, I think it was at a family get together. So it was like the day after Christmas. So, in that last few days, we played it four times. And they've really had a blast with this, learning to, um, you know, flick the penguins around. It's a dexterity game where you are penguins skipping class to go eat fish uh, and you're running away from the hall monitor. Everybody takes turns being the hall monitor and you get points for catching the penguins that should be in class. You get points for running through doorways where you grab fish and eat them. Lots of cool stuff going on. Lots of fun stuff for uh, little kids, but also it's it's fun for grown-ups too. I, I, we've really had a blast. My wife and I playing it with the two youngest out of the three. And uh, I mean, there's not a, a ton of uh, real deep decision making going on or anything like that, but it's just a fun, quick family dexterity game that's ice cool with four plays. Number two was Gloomhaven with five plays. As I continue to push through the uh, campaign uh, in preparation for Frosthaven, however, I think you'll find Gloomhaven has taken a little bit of a backseat to what my number one game is. We'll talk about that in a second. Gloomhaven is this really fun, very thinky, uh, uh, tactical game where you are, I mean, it, it looks like a dungeon crawler, but it doesn't play like a dungeon crawler. It is much more about hand management, uh, making sure that you have enough cards to make it to the end of the scenario because every time you have to rest, you lose a card permanently. If you use a really powerful ability, that card's probably going permanently for the rest of the, of the scenario. And so as you're playing, you want to manage all that. Make sure you uh, are careful with how that how you're using those abilities. And then your characters, of course, can level up. You unlock new characters. I actually just unlocked a new character that I haven't played yet, so I'm excited to get to do that. That's Gloomhaven. And then number one is Aeon Trespass Odyssey, also with five plays. This is a boss battler. Uh, it is... Uh, right from the same vein as Kingdom Death Monster, except it has taken much of the Kingdom Death Monster system and tweaked it. There, When you're not fighting monsters, you're actually adventuring around uh, ancient Greece, kind of ancient Greece, because you've got some crazy technology going on as well. You have, uh, there, there are these things called primordials that are causing all kinds of problems throughout Greece, but you have learned how to uh, capture and control titans, uh, almost like, uh, like like Pacific Rim style control the titans. You like link into their brains and go out and fight as the titans. Uh, when you injure a primordial, the main bad guy, uh, what happens is their deck, so you... You flip over the wound card or the, the body part card. If you wound it, that's gone. You but you don't you know like you don't just let the deck whittle down. You replace it with a because uh, there's level one, two, and three body part cards. You replace it with a level two body part card. And on top of that, you take the first level one AI card you find, which is what tells the monsters what to do, 
and you replace it with a level two. And so every time you wound the monster, it gets angrier and more powerful and uh, will do uh, you know n different things to you. And so lots of cool stuff going on there. That's Aeon Trust Best Odyssey with five plays in December. Be sure to come back. We've got all kinds of great stuff going on. 1815 Scum of the Earth will be coming up at some point. Uh, how to play Frost Haven is coming up. How to play uh, Aeon Trust Best Odyssey. It's set up right in front of me here. How to play Perdition's Mouth. Tons of great stuff coming. Come back for all that. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline. Mm -hmm.